honey. Sorry we're late. You okay? <laughs> Much better now that you're here. So, Charming, you want to let me out of these so we can settle this ogre to man? Ooh, that sounds fun. But I have a better idea. <laughs> things this time, Ogre. Kill it! Everybody stop! Oh, what is it now? Artie? Who really thinks we need to settle things this way? You're telling me you just want to be villains your whole lives? But we are villains. It's the only thing we know. Didn't you ever wish you could be something else? Well, it's easy for you to say. You're not some evil enchanted tree. Oh, you morons! Don't listen to him! Attack them! Yeah. What Steve's trying to say here is it's hard to come by honest work when the whole world's against you. Right. Hey, Ted. Okay. Fair enough. You're right. I'm not a talking tree. But, you know... A good friend of mine once told me that just because people treat you like a villain or an ogre or just some loser, it doesn't mean you are one. The thing that matters most is what you think of yourself. If there's something you really want or someone you really want to be, then the only person standing in your way is you. Me? Get him, lads! Yeah! No, 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 no. Yeah! What, what I mean is, each of you is standing in your own way. Oh. I've always wanted to play the flute. I'd like to open up a spa in France. I grow daffodils. And they're beautiful. Amazing, remarked Henry. Said James. That's resource. And sagacity, put in Gordon. What does that mean? Whispered Percy. I think, replied Thomas, it's about being clever and wise. He is, finished Gordon, an example to us all. Said Edward. to work on your aim. This was supposed to be my happily ever after. Well, I guess you need to keep looking. Because I'm not giving up mine. Mommy? It's yours if you want it, you know. But this time it's your choice.
Uh, excuse me. That's my seat. 